Physics will always be math's little brother. I said this recently and a basketball-loving buddy rebutted, the world's greatest scientists are Newton and Einstein, both physicists, so math is firmly under physics heel. I just smiled in surprise at his misconception, like math, physics, and chemistry were his wives. Though I indulge my wife, this buddy isn't her, so regarding math and physics, I won't concede an inch. You mentioned Newton and Einstein, so let's battle those two. First, Newton. You think he was a physicist, but more so a mathematician, top three in math history. Newton's most famous achievement is of course gravity. No disagreements there. But think carefully, gravity is simple. You just need to observe falling apples and the moon. Anyone could see those things, not only Newton. His lifelong rival Hook saw them too. But why didn't Hook succeed? Because he couldn't provide mathematical proof. Newton actually couldn't either at the time, but he strongly emphasized his mathematical invincibility, pioneering a new field of math, calculus. Only with calculus did Newton crack gravity and dominate undefeated. In other words, anyone could conceptually propose gravity, but only Newton expressed it mathematically. So math reigns supreme. Now Einstein, his greatest achievement is general relativity, deemed the strongest physical theory ever. But general relativity isn't a pure physics theory, because physics alone couldn't perfect it. Einstein desperately brought in mathematician Grossman, incorporating his great mathematical achievement, Riemannian geometry, for general relativity to be born. So whether Newton or Einstein, their deification in physics was because they obtained suitable math. Physics can lord over everything, but it can't swagger against math. Before math, physics is forever the little brother.